Hi again, everyone. It's uh, Julia from Cannon Farm Horse Rescue here. Um, just with a quick, quick follow up um, regarding the mass bailing horse rescues that I've been talking about. Um, I haven't been able to do anything uh, in the last week or two, just being busy at our own rescue. Um, but I wanted to show you all this video um, that has come to light of a, um, a mass bailing rescue that it was involved with some wild horse rescuing. Um, I believe in December of 2024. Um, and here is sort of what I want to say really, that um, with all this stuff, there's something called accountability. I mean, we all know what that means, but people for some reason don't seem to understand it or accept it. So looking at this video, if as a species, we can't take responsibility for our actions. It then falls onto others to, or any group of people, to call those people into account. This particular horse was from a roundup, um, a wild horse roundup um, that was bailed by, I believe, two mass bailing rescues um, and with with the help of a wild horse management group. Um, this horse has since, well, we don't know, they, they, nobody knows where the horse is, to be fair. Um, I doubt it has survived. But this is what happens when you must bail or you encourage people to donate um, and to these mass bailing rescues. It, it, you, you know, there's no excuses for this. There's no excuses for an animal, any animal or person to live in, in pain, misery, or even fear. Um, and so, you know, I want to be clear here that when people say, oh, you know, there's just these haters around, this is not hate. <laughs> this is absolutely no way not hate. This is just doing the right thing. Um, it is doing the right thing. And yeah, eventually what is going to happen has always happened with these mass bailing rescues and the people who support them. Um, and I'm not talking necessarily about the donors, but the people who, um, the bigger groups that support them is that they will crumble as they always do. Ultimately they'll crumble and it will be left to people that who, who are responsible people who will speak out to pick up the pieces um, but ultimately it's always the animals that suffer. So, uh, that's all I have to say today. The video speaks for itself. I don't need to say any more. I don't think. Okay. Thanks guys.